Drawbridges are great, aren't they? I mean, what's not to like? They're so versatile. You can use them as bridges. You could use it as a door. They can even be used as bridge doors. Or is it door bridges? You can use them to hold things up in midair. Or you can use them to hold themselves up and anything you choose to build on them. You could use them as gates. Or as double gates. Sometimes you might have a hole in the ground or the floor that you want to fill. Which is great on foot, but what about if you're on a minibike? You could use a wedge, except at this point the game will not let you put one in there. Reason being, there is an area under the bridge that you can't build in. When the bridge is lowered, that falls within that area. So what's the solution? So I'm going to start with a single drawbridge design. We're going to begin by laying out a 2x3 square, which is going to be our actual entrance underground, where we start tunneling. Now around that we are going to place some wedge tips. get rid of these to mark our area. I'm going to put in some corners. Hopefully with the right orientation. And that is going to be our entrance area. Now with using a single drawbridge, we are going to need to use ramps rather than wedges to descend in order to get a steep enough angle to get below the bottom of the, uh, the hinge area of the drawbridge. We'll come to that in just a moment. Now, around our uh, wedge tips. Mainly here where the uh, drawbridge jet is actually going to go, it's going to be a lot neater if we use these half slides. But then for continuity we might as well continue it all the way around. We'll then have uh, a gap here where part of the hinge goes. This is part that we won't actually be able to build on. And then back here we would finish it off with the top end of the wedge, which will bring it up to the full height of the surrounding landscape. So here then we could just go straight for the top end of the wedge. Or for neatness we could put in one of these first and then put in the top end of the wedge. It's entirely up to you. We are going to need to run up 
about four or five blocks in order to get a good enough angle to be able to destroy the bridge. Selecting advanced rotation. I'm going to rotate it so the hinges are at the bottom and the bridge is pointing upwards into the air and the pistons are facing towards us. Like that. And shut forward a bit. No, it's not like it's setting this to too close. Let's give ourselves a bit more forward. Ooh, and a bit more again. Fine. Didn't mean to do that. Now we strengthen that once we're in. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Replace that there, and as you can see, the uh, pistons are merging nicely with the corner pieces. And there you have it, a perfect seal all the way around. Let's turn off that headlamp. So as the zombies come wandering along, if they find themselves on here, this height arrangement here should mean it's not too difficult for them to leave in that direction. They shouldn't start attacking it at all. And over here, You can do the same, and as I said earlier, if you want to, uh, for continuity of theme, you can always put these off slabs all the way around, and then put the top end of the wedge. But for now, I'm just going to put in the top end of the wedge. Corners. Check we've got the right location. It'd be nice if it was a bit easier to see the rotation on these. Before we place them. And that would then bring us up to the height of the surrounding landscape, the rest of your build. Which, let's face it, if you're going to these lengths to make your entrance, you are going to be covering in something solid like concrete anyway. And then your road will be coming up here. You have a nice smooth ride for your mini bike. Let's 
So now all we need to do is do our tunneling down. If we've done this right, we should be able to get our heads under, under there. As you can see, we have made it under. In fact, we could possibly even make it under that. And there you go. Next up is the two drawbridge design, which will give us a much nicer slope of 22.5 degrees because it will be using wedges and wedge tips under there rather than ranks, which are at 45 degrees. Now for the two drawbridge design. For this one we're going to mark out three wide. It's already prettier, more comfortable by being one block wider than you are. Three wide and six long. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one more row. And we're going to be building around that. Just as before. Put down our wedges. If this was a full on build rather than just a demonstration, under here I would have reinforced the concrete. Back here would have been reinforced the concrete. But this is just a demonstration. Put in our corners. But there we have our working area, just as over there in the uh, single bridge build. A lot more spacious. So here we would be putting our half block. And then behind there, that would be the space where the remainder of the bridge goes. And then back here would be the top end of the wedge. And back here would be the rest of the landscape. So as before, we're going to need to stack up in order to see what we're doing. So roughly there, I should put it. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, reach both sides. Maybe that's too close. Oh, 
advanced rotation, injured down, pissing towards us. That might be, could have been one person. There, that's where we go. Hinge down, bridge out, hinge towards us, and we've got company. Hello, company. Let's us not be standing here. Ooh, quite a lot of company. Give us some distance. Time to get out our rifle. I would say the others are going to ignore us, but I don't think there's a way out there, so they won't be leaving. Oh, yes. Yeah, punch up in the corner. That one's probably going to get up again. That one even. They haven't changed before. Good. Good. I think we've got one that was the other side of the fence there. Hey, come on, no good. Okay, back to the door. Ah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Let us. Let us, let us, let us. Put that away. Let us. I beg your pardon. Let us. Give ourselves. A more attractive, well, depends on the perspective. Um, so it's certainly some more continuous concrete to look at. Otherwise it's just going to look a little bit weak sitting on dirt. We don't want to look weak. We don't want to be weak. Oh, there I go again, ignoring my hunger. Okay, where were we? Trying to pull off. There. Yeah. I can't actually see what we're doing yet, but I'm going to try and match rotation. There we go. 
and that one goes right next to it there. Push, bash, bash. And close these. And again, you see perfect seal all the way around the entrance. We can place blocks here, but not there. So we're going to put the half slabs here, make them the same height as the wedge tips. Uh, we could continue half the block here, and then go up to wedge tip. We can just a wedge, the top end of the wedge rather, or we could just go straight into the top end of the wedge. like before Corners just like before. Um, no, don't need to do And that brings you up to the rest of your build, just the, the, the single build as well. Now comes the actual tunnel. Put these away. So, this time, we're not going to go down a step for every place forward. We're going to go down a step for every two places forward. And for that reason, this would not fit under a single door design, single drawbridge design, should I say. Of course, in your actual build, you'd have all this as concrete walls as well. Uh, like I said, oh, that fell in the wrong place. Here we'll be going two blocks for the wedge tip. Just tidy that up. Then descend in.
bit of shed. Okay, there we go. He's clearly under there. We have clearance. Now, believe it or not, when you're sitting on your mini bike, you're actually the same head height as when you're standing. So you easily get under there. And there's nothing left to do now except replace the walls, the concrete, and I'll finish the surface work and build the rest of your base. And that is how you can get a perfect fit with draw bridges and no gaps, no nasty holes, using them on the ground, flat on the ground as covers for an underground tunnel entrance. So all that's left to do now is to enjoy your new tunnel to wherever you want to go with it, be it underground parking or just following a white rabbit down the rabbit hole. And don't forget to close the door behind you. Catch you next time.